Hey, um, I just came from watching a very troubling video from Ignorance is Not Cute or or Lady Fro. It's really um I have heard of this of uh, phenomenon happening before. It was um corrective rape, I believe it was it was a case in in the US. Um I believe a, a bunch of people, a bunch of men got together and decided to to do that, to force themselves on them, on this lady, just because, just because they thought it was corrective in some way, just because they thought the application of penis could make her straight. Um, first of all, rape is already, already a hor horrifying thing. It's a, it's a crime of power. Um, people. It's it's not even about sex. It's the crime of power. I'm being very very armchair psychologist right now, but it's the crime of power. It's the crime of it's not a crime of passion. It it happens because because a certain individual wants wants assert assert their their sexuality over someone. It's as this is ab um this thing of corrective rape is as obnoxious as 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 a street ball of filled with rainbow rainbow symbology it's just reasserting sexuality or so they think it scares me because the the culture in South Africa is so they're so dominant already. Um, they are the rape capital of the world. <laughs> well, that's just scary. Um, it is troubling to think about it because I am, I'm, I am in an interracial relationship, and I hope I still am. <laughs> with, with a black lady. She. Is very very Americanized, just like I'm. I'm very whitewashed. I I haven't heard of this phenomenon before, except for that for that one one case that was um, involving that white lady. In I think it was an, another institution. I'm not sure. It's been a while. Um, but apparently, men think this way. Some men think this way that it is okay to force yourself on on a lesbian. It is more than okay. It is their moral right to force themselves on on a lesbian to make them straight. So this is troubling because this is an extreme view of what one of my friends um, you know he's also black. Um, Mr. Case, Mr. Case thinks he. <laughs> And thinks his application of his penis to a lesbian woman can can cure them. He thinks he can convert people back. He thinks he thinks he possesses the the scepter of <coughs> he thinks he he possesses some holy relic in the form of his phallic <laughs> phallic symbol. Um. So yes. Yeah, um. This is disturbing because it. It man manifests itself in several ways. One way is is the corrective rape, which is very disturbing. One way is is no, you haven't found found the right man yet, or you haven't um, you haven't been with the right person before, or you just need a good a good source of sex. Um, I'm not going to talk about strap-ons. That's another video because, because yes, it's it even trickles down to Americanized societies in in, in the fact that some men think think with a good a good dose of sexing they can they can convert lesbians. It's just not true. Um, I'm in a very heterosexual based um based living environment, college dorms, hooray. Even even the graffiti is disgustingly heterosexual. And 
yeah, I'm just saying um, it's it's hard to get away from it all, but we should be we should be strong, strong enough. We we should do something. We should cut through all of this red tape because um, I was watching the video, and the mm, we should cut through all this red tape. Motive is important. The motive. The motive for rape is important because it is it is a crime of power. It's a hate crime, essentially, as as corrective rape happens happens to be. It's a it's a it's a hate crime. It's an oxymoron. Corrective rape. Rape in the first place is is a transfer of power. It's a taking of and taking of power. How the hell is that corrective in any way? Corrective. When I think of corrective, I think of I think of braces. I think of there's uh, something that supports a tree while it grows, not something forcible like rape. All right, I hope to be talking about a better topic, but this is uh, this is a video response because I find this extremely troubling. All right, I hope we talk about something lighter.